Good day. Our next topic or unit to be discussed is lipids. We are done with the carbohydrates and proteins. Now we have the third macromolecules, which is lipids. What are lipids? A lipid is a macrobiomolecule that is soluble in nonpolar solvents. Ito yung main characteristics ni lipid. Siya ay hydrophobic due to its nonpolarity. Lipids are involved in how body store energy, regulates biological processes, and maintains structural integrity at the cellular level. Lipids are a broad group of naturally occurring molecules which includes fats, waxes, sterols, uh, fat-soluble vitamins, phospholipids, at marami pa. Clarification lang, lipid is sometimes used as synonym for fats. However, fats are only subgroup of lipids called triglycerides. Lipids are esters of long-chain fatty acids and alcohols. It has general formula of CH3, a methyl group, um, the middle group, CH2, times the nth number, and a uh, hydroxyl group, COOH, where n usually ranges from 2 to 28 and is always an even number. Lipids are typically consisting of glycerol and long chains of fatty acids. Glycerol has 3-hydroxyl functional group or sometimes denoted as OH. As you can see, when the hydroxyl group from glycerol bonded to 3-fatty acid, it yields into triglyceride product and 3 molecules of water. Therefore, it is a dehydration synthesis reaction. This picture is a triglyceride, the most abundant lipids and also called neutrophat. So, what are the functions of lipids? Number one, lipids, uh, especially phospholipid bilayer, constitute cell membrane. It acts as a barrier to the passage of molecules and ions into and out of a cell. It is possible kasi dahil sa nonpolarity ng lipids, they are hydrophobic. Number two, they protect internal organs, serves as insulating materials, and give shape and smoothness to the body. Example of this is the fats. Fats insulates our body and keeps internal temperature, diba? Also provides protection na rin from external and internal injuries or pressure. Number three, they serve as source of fat-soluble vitamins. Example are vitamins uh, A, D, vitamin E, and K. We need fat-soluble vitamins kasi they promote growth, reproduction, and health. Number four, essential fatty acids are useful for transport of cholesterol, formation of lipoproteins, etc. Number five, phospholipids prevent the accumulation of fat in liver. We also have in mitochondria, phospholipids are responsible for transport of ETC components. ETC or electron transport chain is essential in cellular respiration. Another one, it helps in removing cholesterol from the body. There are good side of cholesterols. They maintain the integrity and fluidity of cell membranes. However, too much cholesterol in our body, you know what happens naman, di ba? And lastly, cholesterol is a constituent of membrane structure and synthesizes bile acids, hormones, and vitamin D. It is the principal sterol of higher animals abundant in nerve tissues and gallstones. Let's discuss the fatty acids. Fatty acids are the building blocks of the fat in our bodies and in the food we eat. During digestion, the body breaks down fats into fatty acids, which can then absorb into the blood. Fatty acid molecules are usually joined together in groups of three, forming a molecule called a triglyceride. The left part is carboxylic group. The middle part is the chain of carbons of various lengths. Usually, nagre-range ng 10 to 20 carbons. At yung last part is a metal group. Fatty acids can be classified into two, according to length and variation in saturation. Short-chain fatty acids are chain consisting of two to four carbons and have a weak attraction towards each other. Um, this short 
chain fatty acids are essential and the main source of energy for the cells. Medium chain fatty acids naman ay may 6 to 10 carbon and usually found in coconut oil. And the last one, yung long chain fatty acids, they are composed of 12 or more carbon and the most common fatty acids that can be found in the food. It also has the strongest attraction towards each other and usually solid at room te temperature. Question, sir, kung 2 to 4 ang short chain, 6 to 10 ang medium, at 12 or more yung long chain, paano yung chain na containing 5 carbon at 11 carbon? So, yung mga fatty acids, they are usually in even number. Yung mga carbon niya. Bibihira yung, oh, wala kang makikitang fatty acids na 5 or 7 or 9 or add numbers. And another example of this classification, we have butyric acid in short chain, uh, lauric and capric acid in medium, and stearic acid in long CFA. The second classification is according to saturation. Now, saturation here does not mean the presence of moisture or yung water presence dun sa isang bagay. The saturation here is about the presence of double and triple bond in a chain. We only have two variations, the saturated and the unsaturated fatty acids. Um, to further expand this, I will discuss it in more detail. Saturated fatty acids have no double bonds in their chemical structure. Carbons are saturated with hydrogen atoms. Because of their chemical structure, they have a solid consistency at room temperature. This is very simple structure as it only contains a carboxylic functional group and the rest are all hydrocarbons na. Sa naming naman, the names will depend on the number of carbon atoms. Limbawa, si butyric acid, may 4 carbon atoms, di ba? The prefix for 4 is but, and then we will add a suffix anoic. Therefore, we can name it butanoic acid. If we have 6 carbon atoms, the prefix for 6 is hexa plus anoic, we have a hexanoic acid. These are all examples of major saturated fatty acids at saka yung sources nila. This list is included in your module. Question. Sir, bakit iba naman yung name ng saturated acid dito? These are all classic naming or yung uh, conventional naming. Yung tinuturo ko kanina is the IUPAC rule o yung IUPAC. Pagka binabasa. Hexanoic acid can be also called as Caproic acid, yan. Yung octanoic acid can also be called caprylic acid. Vice versa. Pero mas ginagamit kasi yung IUPAC rule kapag ka sa naming talaga. Ito kasi mga nakasanayan na yung butyric acid, caproic acid, yan. Unsaturated naman are typically liquid at room temperature. They differ from saturated fats in that their chemical structure contains one or more double bonds. Bawa si linoleic acid. Linoleic acid is primary example of unsaturated fatty acids. Kung kanina, ano ang suffix natin, sa saturated fatty acid naman, we will use the suffix anoic. Kanina, ano weak, ngayon, inoic. This unsaturated fatty acid can be further categorized. Meron tayong mono and polyunsaturated fatty acid. So, Yung monosaturated fatty acids have only one double, bond, uh, double bonded carbon atoms in the chains, while the polyunsaturated contains two or more double bond carbon atom. Also, because of the presence of double bond, a cis and trans configuration will be present. A cis configuration means that the two hydrogens are on the same side of the double bond. The two hydrogen bonded in carbons with double bond causes the chain to bend. The more double bonds the chain has in this is configuration, the less flexibility it has. When a chain has many cis bonds, it becomes quite curved in its most accessible conformations. Meanwhile, the trans configuration by contrast means that the next two carbon atoms are bound to opposite sides of uh, the double bond. As a result, they don't cause the chain to bend much. 
and their shape is similar to straight saturated fatty acids. Have you ever heard the trans fat sa mga food na kinakain nyo? It indicates na may unsaturated trans fatty acid configuration present doon. Eh, how about the omega-3 and omega-6? Uh, have you ever heard that term? Omega-3 and omega-6? Those are examples of fatty acids. The term omega, when determining the location of uh, the double bonded carbon, means that we will start to count from the methyl group, not from the carboxylic group. As for the example given, it is an omega-3 trans fatty acid. Another example is si Docasa hexanoic acid or commonly known as DHA, which is primary structural component of the human brain, uh, cerebral cortex, skin, and retina. Minsan or kadalasan dun siya sa mga gatas na iniinom natin. And that sums up uh, our lesson for today. I will send the eva evaluation link later on. Tapos, um, i-check ko yung mga video nyo. Yung, yung group. Pagka may gusto nang magpasa ng individual uh, activity, yung laboratory experiment, pwede nyo namang i-PM sa akin. Magpapost ako ng link kung saan nyo pa pwedeng i-upload. Um, next week, Ang gagawin natin ay itutuloy ang discussion ng lipids.